Hello there, my name's Card, I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist. And today, I just want to briefly talk about a reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a few years now, as well as what it really means, who's using it, and why. For those who might not know, in politics, a dog whistle is a word, a phrase, or a symbol which seems perfectly innocent and innocuous to most people, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. Additionally, there'll also be a playlist of videos of mine, linked at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about the term roasty, what that is, what it means, and how it's become a contemporary reactionary meme and signal, particularly in online spaces. Simply put, roasty is something of a crude, off-colour insult that has become very common on a lot of image board websites like 4chan and 8chan, where, for a few years now, it has been used by reactionaries to mock women in a sexually demeaning way. The term roasty is derived from the very incorrect idea that a woman's labia will become visibly stretched or disfigured from having multiple sexual partners, to the point where it will supposedly eventually resemble slices of roast beef. This idea has zero actual medical or scientific basis, but it is still used by a lot of uh, misogynistic and incel communities to shame women for their sexual activity, or perpetuating harmful stereotypes about women's bodies and sexual behaviour. It's part of a broader pattern of behaviour of objectifying and degrading women, particularly in online spaces where reactionary and far-right groups congregate. It's not necessarily the most subtle reactionary meme in the world, but if you happen not to know what it means, it might still be easy to miss. So, if you ever happen to see the word roasty somewhere online for seemingly no reason, at the very least now you know why, and it should register as a big red flag. As with any dog whistle or obtuse reactionary internet term, it does help to be able to spot these sorts of things and suss out the situation properly which you can only do if you know what these sorts of terms and bits of iconography mean in the first place. So, for the sake of keeping your online spaces free of potential troublemakers and people with less than good intentions, it never hurts to be able to recognise these things. That's all I have to say today. I hope it helps. Once again, my name's Card. If you might want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page, or just take a look at my other videos. Either way, goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.